Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Winter's Wonderland. This is some heavy ass snow. Look at how much we got. Look at that. Four inches or whatever. And this is the heavy shit. Because you can see my internet line sagging like a bastard right there. So, Jesus Christ. This showed up overnight. Oh, it's all wet too. Well, we'll see if my construction. Look at this. A spider web. A spider web supporting snow. Isn't that crazy. Never seen that before. Ugh. Oh boy, there's some weight up there. That cheapy plastic shit's gonna break. Junior, you cheated. So my average morning thing, they come out and look for mousies, and I can see the door is open on the cage, so we didn't catch anything. A little nippy in here. How are we holding up in here? Got one heater going, and we're 58. Okay, not bad. I opened up my little door down there, throw some heat in, but... All right, so that's not too bad, 58. Four boxes showed up of this. So I've got four more boxes of this here. And it's actually too cold to put this up now. I'd have to turn my heater on. Um, have you guys ever seen that YouTube um, channel called Caught in Providence? And it's a judge, Judge Caprio. And, uh, you know, he's kind of reminds you of the dad you've always wanted. You know, he's fair. And he's not like your typical judges, like, around here. They're just, you know, you got speeding. Here's the ticket. Here's the price. Pay it. You know what I mean? He's got sympathy. You know, he listens to your backstory, you know, of, of what the deal is and whatever. But he's also started another um, little sideshow type thing talking about issues and, and whatnot. And I'll put a link in the description. And, uh, well, comment section. I'll put the link in the comment section. I think it's easier to find it there. And listen to what this guy says. Because uh, he's 100% right about, um, about stuff. Um, you know, like what with friends and stuff like that and uh you know people that just can't let go of an issue and they just keep you know digging and digging and digging and see what they can get on you or making snide comments instead of just living your life and letting go and live in peace it just eats away at them trying to get back at you for stuff and and he's right you know, he's right, because I had my neighbor next door always breaking my balls. So then I had to always break his balls. But after he's gone, it was like a weight lifted off me, and I was like total peace. I could relax. I could go out in my back lawn without somebody out there peeking on the corner and flipping me off and saying stupid shit. And believe me, I was to a point to where I almost ended up going to jail. Because, you know, it bothers you that much. And it's not worth it. Life's too short for this type of crap. And um, so I take, you know, all this happened through my life in the past few years. Um, you know, I'm on some medicines to kind of chill me out and stuff. And, and it works good. Nothing bothers me anymore. And... um you know, you just got to watch the video and you'll understand the point I'm trying to make that life isn't worth it. You know, if you don't get along with somebody, just move forward, you know, and just continue on with your life instead of letting somebody else get into your life and you're wasting your life and your time on them. And you shouldn't be. 
See, I live my life for myself because nobody gives a shit about anybody anymore. And you've probably noticed that. You've probably noticed that in your families and, and whatnot, that everybody now is hooray for me and screw everybody else. And that's what the world is coming down to. Nobody cares about nobody but themselves. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure we've all seen it. We've all seen it in our family, friends, acquaintances, whatever, you know, and people in general. Yeah. So that's my attitude. I have this weird uh, thing that I can just erase people out of my life um, and not care. I did it to my mother, um, my brothers and stuff. And, you know, my mom was, I come to find out in my lifetime what she's done and this and that. And she's nothing but a user. And and uh, so I just erased her out of my life and she died alone. And I know it sounds terrible to some of you guys, but you don't know the full story. And I don't care. You know, and uh, does it bother me? Absolutely not. I could care less. I'm living my life for me. And if people want to be part of it, fine. If you don't, fine. doesn't matter. I don't give a shit because um, you can't let other people influence your life or bother you because life is too damn short to let people, you know, I don't know, try to control it or whatever the hell word I'm looking for. I'm not even sure. But so, got the sniffles this morning. Anyways, you know, you just have to move on. But this Judge Caprio, he's been a judge for a long time. He was a teacher. And uh, yeah, he's. Uh, you should watch his channel. And yeah, he kind of reminds you. I told him he should run for president because, I don't know, you'll understand why when you see the video. that. Uh, and go back and look at some of his other ones in his court cases. When he calls people up to court and he says, okay, you got a ticket for this, ticket for that, what what was going on? You know, he asked the backstories, like, why were you speeding? Why did you do that? Like most judges around here, they don't give a shit. Oh, you got a speeding ticket for 60 over 40. It's going to cost you $300. How do you want to pay it? They don't give a crap about you, but this judge does. And he's up in Providence, Rhode Island. And, uh, yeah. So, like I said, he made another channel. He spun off of that because a lot of people were asking him questions and his advice and whatnot. So he created a channel to do that, to help people out. But if you're having issues and problems with people and and whatever, I mean, you know, People are trying to pry into your previous life and friends and trying to get trying to get something on you, you know, and whatever. They're just wasting their time. And you don't let stuff like that bother you because, you know, everybody knows my backstory of my life because I'm open and free about it. I, I don't give a shit, you know. And uh, so that's the way it is. But I, f I felt compelled to bring this to some people's attentions that uh you know out there that's having a hard time with stuff and whatever look at don't let people bother you um you know if somebody says something to you stupid at walmart or wherever just ignore it just go on with your life don't let shit bother you it's just words that's all it is is words you know words can't hurt you you know, that sticks and stones, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I do. I just continue on with my life. I'm not going to be dragged down by somebody else's uh, anger or whatever. It's like, I don't give a shit, you know? Live your life for yourself. Don't worry about everybody else. Life is too freaking short to waste your time and energy trying to break other people's balls. That's how I look at it, you know? I don't have any beef with anybody. You know, I've made mistakes in my past. I've tried to make up for it. And if people accept your apology, fine. And we can move forward. 
If not, then fine. You know, I've made the first few steps to fix the issue, and that's it. So, and and that, that's all you can do. That's all you can really do is make amends. If they don't accept it, fine. So, and then you've done your part. You've done all you can do. And if it's not good enough, just move on. Move on. And that's why I like spending time in my garage and buying stuff like this. And it just keeps me busy and and uh, stuff like that. It gives me something to do and and stuff I like to do is fix stuff and whatnot. And uh, that's it. So anyways, it's cold out here. <laughs> Junior's got to go to the vet today. What the hell are we reading? Okay, it's 40 in here. It's not too bad. <laughs> the door's open and closing by itself out there from the wind. But, you know, I like being a happy, goofy guy. But it helps. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm dragging this on too long. I didn't plan on talking this long. But, yeah, check it out. Check out that Judge Caprio. He's a he's an older fella, but it just makes it just makes a lot of sense listening to him. And it's kind of like what I've always said, you know. Life really is short. You never know. You don't know when your number's up. You know, I'm talking to Grandpa, and um, you know, it's like he's got plans to do this this and that and it's like you're 90 years old you're not you know you're not freaking uh 20 where you can just drop everything and start a life all over again it's like you know i don't know but i mean if i was that old i don't know i wouldn't have plans to do anything except probably kick off at any minute but I don't know, but see, I mean, even somebody at that age still has hope and whatever, but I drifted off course, I think, here. Anyhow, this battery's charged. This big battery's supposed to last a long time. It's freaking crap. But these batteries suck. When it's cold out, they suck. They don't last for long. That's why I always revolve charging these, even if I don't use them. I'll throw them in the charger, and I'll let them go for a while. But even these here, I rotate them around and charge them. Yeah, cold uh, cold kills lithium batteries. It drains them out. Look at your phone when it's very cold outside. You go outside with 100% charge in your phone. Ten minutes later, you're down to like 50. It's like, what the hell happened? But my solar panels are covered in snow. They're not putting out any juice. But... Okay, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And, um, yeah, check the uh, comment section. I'll put the link in there. Have a good day. I'll be playing in the snow.